Hi, my name is Felix Cafier and you're watching the third season of the Shiba Minute. Now, this season is completely about asset creation and getting your stuff into Shiba and out of your 3D content creation tool. And while you've been thumbing through the Shiba documentation, you've probably come across the term do that in your favorite DCC tool, digital content creation tool in DCC. And being a programmer, you've probably asked yourself, what's the right tool for me? What should I use? what's out there on the market and that's the primary purpose of this video to give you a short overview on what's on the market right now and if it's any good. So when doing 3D there's probably no way around the name Autodesk. Autodesk is this mighty corporation that creates 3ds Max, Maya, well they didn't create it, they bought it, as well as uh, what was formerly XSI Soft Image. Now they have these three big packages almost everyone in the industry uses. But you don't have to use them, especially as an indie developer, as these products cost a lot of money and time to learn them in the first place. So there's the few alternatives out there I would like to show you. First, there's Lightwave, created by Newtek, maybe the most well-known competitor to Autodesk products. Lightwave is responsible for a lot of TV stuff like Babylon 5, Lightwave is a really good program, but it has an even steeper learning curve, in my opinion, than all the Autodesk tools, and it's not that cheap either. It costs about a thousand dollars compared to the three thousand you have to pay for 3ds Max. That's cheap, all right, but um, maybe not that what you had in mind. The third big name in 3D is maybe Maxon. Maxon is responsible for the big program that is Cinema 4D. It's really user-friendly and it's a lot of fun to do and there's this plugin called um, Body Paint which allows you to paint your textures directly in the 3D window which is really cool and saves you a lot of time. But it's quite expensive. The Body Paint plugin alone costs as much as Lightwave does, the whole package. There's several editions of Cinema 4D, the studio edition and cinema and broadcast and I don't know, which is targeted to TV and movie 3D developers. Maybe not what you had in mind either. So it's a very good program. I did my first 3D steps in Cinema 4D, however the exporters are somewhat um, difficult and you might end up with one like in I believe 11.5. You might be in luck, but it's not guaranteed to have a good exporter, that's what I'm saying. If you have any of these programs, you're in luck and you probably know how to use them and there's some art pipeline tutorials on the wiki for those 3D packages as well as on the tutorial site on Shiva Developer. However, if you do not have decided yet on a 3D program to use, I would like to show you some of my favorites. The first one is Wings 3D. Wings 3D is an open source modeling software which allows you to create meshes, unwrap them, texture them, and then export them to even DAE, uh, the format Shiva uses. But it's only a modeler and it's quite basic and it of course does only one modeling technique, which is box modeling. But the workflow is really really good and you will achieve great things in a really short amount of time. And I really recommend to look at it and learn it, it's really really easy to use. The open source replacement for Autodesk products and Lightwave, the best known one is maybe Blender, Blender 3D, which has a cumbersome interface and it's... Well, I never really got around it. It has several thousands of tutorials and docs and none of them really refer to the actual new Blender, which is Blender 2.5, the new version with a completely revamped interface, which does not look like Blender 2.4 or the previous version at all. So you might run into problems with that as well. Nevertheless, it's a really good program, uh, so I've heard. and. It does amazing things, all these open source animation videos, maybe you have heard of Big Bad Bunny, one of my favorite movies, was done in Blender. So this might be worth a look as well, but I will not provide you with tutorials on Blender as I myself never really got into it. 
Instead, I've used a real gem for the Macintosh called Cheetah 3D. Cheetah is a modeling slash UV editing slash animation slash rendering suite which uses an uh, interface similar to Cinema 4D. That's maybe why I got into it so quickly. And it's fun to use and pretty cheap. I know it's not free, but with only $149 you get one of the best packages for maybe one of the lowest prices in 3D. And of course there's always those programs that have been around forever like this Caligari True Space or the stripped down version Game Space which are now completely free because the company Caligari has been purchased by Microsoft actually. And now their 3D Suite True Space 7.6 is completely free. You can download it but it's not longer in development and the support has gone down and if you're looking for something that you might want to use in the future as well as now you want to go around this piece of software. Jazz3D has purchased Carrara which was a really good rendering and animation program which has now gone pretty stale. It's at version 8 now and it still looks like version 5 and the exporters are really substandard, especially the DAE and FBX exporter. I have not seen a single animated model coming out of Carrara that worked well with either Shiva or any other 3D real-time package for that matter. They've also purchased Hexagon and Bryce software I would have recommended years ago, but today there are really better alternatives out there, especially for Hexagon which is a pure modeler and texture painter you can do that with Wings or any other free software better today. If I happen to have forgotten your favorite 3D tool, you can have a look at the wiki. The 3D content creation tools is a single page dedicated to these packages. You can find a lot of them there which I've just mentioned, as well as other low-cost ones like Milkshape or Sculptures. And if you happen to have just the 3ds Max or Lightwave or Maxon package, as well as the Cheetah 3D package and you know how to use them, you might want to skip the following videos until episode 8, I believe, where we continue with exporting your artwork to DAE or FBX, then getting them into the Shiva package. If you don't know how to model, texture, unwrap, etc., or want to refresh your memory, I will show some basic techniques with Wings and Cheetah in the following six videos.